Hey Blender Bob here, let's talk about camera overscan. What is an overscan? It's when you render larger than the field of view of the camera. Why would you need this? Well, here are some examples. I got a glowing monkey getting in the scene and because it's glowing, you can see that when it enters the frame, there's a pop in the glow because it doesn't show the glow when it's outside the frame. So that's why you need an overscan. This would be the overscan version. So the idea is to get the pop in the overscan because we don't care about this part. We're going to crop it later. So inside the real frame, we wouldn't see the pop. You could need also an overscan if you do an earthquake filter. You can clearly see the black line at the bottom. That's why you need an overscan. Okay, so I have scaled the monkey to the edge of the image. This is just a way for me to test to make sure that everything works properly. Now I want you to pay attention to the camera. You can see that the size of the sensor is at 36 here. This is important because it needs to be adjusted when you do an overscan. Otherwise, you would just scale at a bigger resolution. That's not what we want. The other thing you want to take a look at is the original resolution. It was 1920 by 1080. Okay, so you have three ways to do this. You can go by percentage, by extra pixels, or specific X resolution. So let's try with percentage. Now it's at 30%. If I press apply, you see now I get 30% around the image. And you can see here that the size has been adjusted automatically. Also, the render resolution has been changed to match the 30% that we asked. But not only this, if we take a look at the camera, you can see that it created three custom properties. This is the original resolution for the render and the original camera sensor size. You can also see that the camera name changed. I added underscore O, that means it's an overscanned camera. If I click on revert, you can see that the camera revert to its original name. Uh, the sensor size is the same and the extra attributes are gone. The render resolution is back to the way it was before also. So everything is back to normal. The reason why I wanted to create the extra attributes is if you save the file and you reopen it later, you can still use the revert button and it's going to work. So in order to do this, I needed to save that information somewhere and that's why I created these custom properties. Let's take a look at the second option. So this one is for extra pixels. So first I'll need to revert, go back to normal. So if I put 1000, it's going to add 500 pixels all the way around on each side, top, bottom and everything. So if I just press on apply, you get the result, but you can see that the aspect ratio changed. It got 500 pixels on every side, so that's why the aspect ratio is not the same. So the third one is specific X resolution. So this you can say how wide you want the image. So let's say 2500. So now when I do this, my X resolution is at 2500, but it compensated on the Y resolution also to keep the same aspect ratio. Another cool thing is that if you have a background image or multiple ones and you apply an overscan, it's still going to work, even if you have more than one. And even if the scale is not at one to begin with, like I align the ear here with the image and this one will just make it bigger and I apply the overscan, it works. Rotations will also work. The only thing that will not work is you have enough set on the image plane. So uh, if I align, for example, this one here, I'll just place it on the corner here. A little bit down. Okay, let's make the other image plane invisible because it's in the way. Okay, so now you see if I apply it, then it's not going to be at the right place. Well, there's nothing I can do about this. Sorry. Like we say in Quebec, same you can like Sahel. Thank you, Real by Fake, for letting me sending this to the community for free. And the link is in the description. Bye bye.